Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, today let's continue our discussion on language. Mm, last meeting we already talked about the definitions of language. Language is a mean of communication. Communication is interaction between people in order that they can do information exchange and we already talk about the innateness hypothesis we also talk about the concept of displacement here and there now and then and then we also talk about the concept of um, onomatope versus um, arbitrariness so I do really hope that you can get well informed with the concepts that we already talked about last meeting. And uh, at the end of our discussion last meeting, I already underlined that language is primarily speech. In the discussions about communication, we already talked about there are sa, there are oral communication, written communication, accompanied by nonverbal communication, right? And then when we are talking, when, when we are asking which type of communication, which uh, media of language is um, that becomes the primary one, so I told you already that language is primarily speech written language, written communication happened later in the modern uh, era. <clears throat> that is the reason why when you talk about language, when you want to discuss linguistics, whether you like it or not, you have to start from talking about language sounds. Okay. The branches of language sounds dealing with uh, the branches of linguistics dealing, dealing with um, language sounds are phonetics and phonology. We are going to talk about phonology later after the mid test. Before the mid test, let's focus on phonetics. Okay, now, now let's start. What is phonetics, everybody? Phonetics is a discussion about the production, the transfer, and the perception of language sounds. What is phonetics? Phonetics is, is a discussion about the production. So you can see language sounds from... Um, so I am producing something. Can you hear that? Can you listen to that? Yes. So. The productions of language sounds is, uh, is discussed in phonetics. And uh, let me ask you, uh, vous vous appelez comment? Do you get the point? Oh no. Because, so I am using the language which is not in your frequency. Okay. So you still don't understand because I am using the language which is not there in your frequency. But if I ask you, for example, I think some of you, or not all of you, get the point. Because you are in the same frequency with the language that I use. Of course, if I say, how are you, my students? So I am sure that all of you um, do understand what I am producing. Okay? Yeah, we are going to talk about it later, what the what you call that, the frequency, blah, 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 blah. Now let's talk about the production. Uh, let's come back to the definitions of phonetics. What is phonetics, everybody? Phonetics is a discussion about the production, the transfer, and the perceptions of language sounds. Okay. Yeah. Um... The, frequ the, the, the concept of frequency, blah, 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 is dealing with the transfer and the perception. 
but unfortunately we do not have enough time to talk about the transfer and the perceptions of language sounds perhaps when you are going to a master of linguistics later so you are you can discuss um, what you call that the 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 matters about language transfer and language perception and now i am telling you that our discussions before uh, the mid test is only focusing on production of language sounds although phonetic is, is not only dealing with the production the product uh, phonetic is dealing with the production transfer and perception um actually we should have already started with uh, the idea what is sound actually is it sound yes it is sound my name is Fauzi. Is it sound? Yes, it is sound. Is it a language sounds? No, it is not language sound. My name is Fauzi. Is it a language sound? Yes, it is. Is it a language sound? Yes. Is it a language sounds? No. Okay. Language sound is only produced by the speech organs of human being. Come back to the discussions about the, the nature of language. Language is only used by human beings. And then what is sounds? What is language sound? What are language sounds? Language sounds are sounds produced by the speech organ of human being. Okay. Now, uh, when we are talking about uh, what you call that? Speed sounds. Uh, we have to get well informed with the speed organs, with the speed organs involved in the production of language sounds. Okay? Pay attention to me. I will produce an utterance. What is utterance, everybody? So, language sounds produced in the in the oral communication once again utterance is language sounds produced in the activity in the actions of communication listen i will produce an utterance Are you ready yes my name is fauzi it is an utterance in english in indonesian language the idea is nama saya Fauzi and in Arabic the same idea is realized as uh, ismi Fauzi okay pay attention when you produce my name is Fauzi can you see my speech organs are moving constantly okay as well in when you produce nama saya Fauzi so you see certain organs of my body especially in this area are moving are having movement are doing movement constantly okay now let's talk about the parts of the speech organs involved in the production of language sounds. Okay, what do you call this? Okay, lips. So when someone produces a language sounds, so the lips are usually involved. I mean, yeah, uh, some... Uh, uh, some right because two right some of the speech organs you uh, involved in the production of language sounds are lips okay two the upper lip and lower lip okay once again what uh, the, the organs involved see my name is Fauzi lips 
and then and then okay uh, is me fauzi ya uh, talamid ya talamid okay so you can see after uh, let's start from the very from area right so after the lips what are being involved yes teeth teeth so especially uh, the the upper teeth okay like when you produce thalatha okay so the tongue is touching the teeth okay uh, i'm telling you again when we are talking when we are talking about the production of language sounds tongue is always involved like in uh, mama papa okay so uh, the, the the parts um, of speech organ being involved are lips and then when you are saying thin or thalata so your tongue is touching your upper teeth okay what about the lower teeth lower teeth uh, is uh, are not really being involved but when your lower teeth are gone so the production will be di disrupted will be disturbed the, pr the quality of your what you call that your production will be different then. okay lips upper lips and lower lips are involved and then teeth especially the and then what else let's uh, pay attention when you produce na 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 or da 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 what happened your tongue is touching your teeth your touch uh, like talatha no your tongue is touching your alveolar ridge who is alveolar ridge another word of alveolar ridge uh, uh, what is the popular word for alveolar ridge gum okay uh, the what you call the pink one so when you produce an the na da sa so your uh, tongue is touching your alveolar ridge let's repeat lips teeth especially upper teeth a tongue of course and then alveolar ridge let's continue go further back when you are producing the the word like nyanyi or jangan okay like in a song jangan jangan cemburu buta jangan jangan cemburu like c and j okay like c and j are produced by touching the word you call that the tongue which part of tongue the the front part of tongue no but when you produce ch and j so you are not involving the front part of tongue but you are involving the central part of the tongue touching the what you call that the palate the heart palate the word you call that the ceiling of your mouth jangan cari okay so but uh falata, so you are that you are involving the front part of the tongue touching the teeth and then nana dada you are involving the front part of the tongue touching the alveolar ridge but when you are produ producing j j you are involving the central part of the tongue touching the what you call that heart palate the ceiling of your mouth remember so the song that i sang just now was in indonesian so it should be pronounced as jangan jangan cemburu buta jangan jangan cemburu that is the correct pronunciation of Indonesian language 
Look, jangan jangan cemburu buta, jangan jangan. No, that is the wrong pronunciation. Okay, China is different from China. Okay, China is different from China. So when you produce China, the the central part of the tongue touching the palate. But when you are producing China, the what you call that not the central part of the tongue, but a bit front, but not the front part. So it is some somewhere between front and the central part of the tongue touching the hard palate, but rather to the front, not to not the uh, alveolar ridge, but bit uh, alveolar ridge, uh, between alveolar ridge and the hard palate. So. China is sound in English, not in Sundanese in Indonesia. In 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 Sundanese it is China. China is different from China. Okay. Yeah. Uh, lips. Okay. What are we? What we are talking about are the words you call it. Let's focus on the speech organs involved in the production of the language sounds uh, the lips the tongue of course touching the what you call that the lower uh, upper teeth and then the uh, which it will be alveolar ridge and then the palate the hard palate the uh, ceiling and then there is somewhere between the what you call that the alveolar ridge and the uh, palate so it is called alveopalatal sound so we, we are going we are going to talk about alveopalatal sounds later okay now let's uh, continue let's come further backward let's produce uh, the utterance Kuku, kaki, kake, ku, kaku, kaku. Okay, it's different from jangan, jangan cemburu. Okay, so when you are producing jangan, jangan cemburu, so the the what happened in that production is the central part of the tongue touching the uh, hard palate. But when you produce kaki, kaki kuku kaki kakekku kaku kaku so you 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 feel that the the back part of your tongue are the back part of your tongue is touching the back part of uh, the the roof of the, the roof the ceiling of your tongue so it is called valum valum is not hard but soft so you can say valum is soft palate uh, so it's but i call it valum so the sounds produced by involving the valum is called a valor sound later um okay uh, if i had to if I ask you to translate children into Indonesian, so how do you translate it? Okay, some of you, especially the Sundanese, translate children into anak. Okay, but if you ask Javanese to translate children, they would translate it into anak, not anak. You see, uh, let's come to Arabic, anak. I mean the, the the final sound of the anak is represented by kaf, but the final sound of anak is repre, uh, is represented by letter in Arabic say hamza. Uh, you know you know it better. Okay, so I have to learn from you talking about the makrojul huruf later. Okay, so ak ak and ak are different is produced by touching the what you call that uh, by moving the back part of the tongue uh, touching the valum 
okay the the soft palate so it is k but when a uh, so a uh, is produced by moving the something here which is called glottis that is the reason why a uh, is called glottis sound later okay and then uh what else Oh yeah, in Indonesian language, there is R sound, R sound, so it is a thrill sound, uh, so it is uh, what you call that done by, by what you call that, by moving, by moving the R, the tongue vigorously, okay, but in a certain in certain languages like in French, um, there is a sound like François Mitterrand. And not you know, not all not only in France. In certain dialects of Malay in Sumatra, uh, there is also the the sound is also found like in Palembang lang Palem, Palembang Malay rumah baru. So so it is called uh, it is produced by involving the what you call that the pairing here okay the the vibration of the pairing R is involving the vibrations of the what you call that the tongue meanwhile R is involving the vibrations of the what you call that the pairing okay everybody uh, let me underline what uh, what we are talking about today. We are talking about the production of. So I mean, we are going to talk about the productions of language sounds. Next meeting we will be focusing on the productions of consonants. Next to meeting we are go going to focus on the production of vowels and diphthong. But as I told you before, so before we talk about uh, before we are talking about the productions of consonants, vowels, and diphthongs, it is a must for us to understand the speech organs being involved in the productions of the language sounds. I already tried to explain to you the speech organs um, being involved. Uh, let me repeat. What is speech? Speech is utterance. With utterance, utterance is sound, language sounds used by real person, human being, in a real occasion. Okay? So, again and again I'm telling you, so language is only dealing with language. Speech or utterance are language sounds used by a real person in a, in, in a real situation. Why real persons? So we are not talking about the sound produced by a robot. Okay? And then why real occasion? So we are talking about the sound of language when it is real. Uh, oh yeah, so you know, you know my number, right? My, my uh, telephone number. If I, if, let's say, if some, if uh, if you ask me, if one of you ask me, Pak Fauzi, can I have your telephone number? And then my answer is, okay, uh, in Indonesian, uh, nomor telepon saya adalah 0817790757. I'm sure some of you are laughing. Why? Because I didn't do that normally okay not real so i manipulate myself that is the reason why you laugh and then when i also said perhatian perhatian kepada saudara asep dari bogor ditunggu majikannya di, di pintu depan dekat eskalator so so we are not yeah we are going to talk about that but later not because it is not really real occasion i am telling you what are we talking about today? So we are talking about speed sounds, 
that we are going to talk about the next two meetings, consonants and vowels. And then, um, what is speech sounds? Speech sounds is language sounds, uh, uh, speech sounds or utterance. Uh, is speech sound or speech sounds or utterance are language sounds produced by human beings, in the real person in real occasion. And then today we are only talking about the what you call that the spe uh, the parts of speech are going to be involved. And then uh, later uh, I will give you a task uh, besides uh, some ring summarizing uh, this video I um, will ask you I think it is better so th there will be another task besides uh, summarizing this video I will explain it to you later so uh, it is already 26 minutes I think it is better for me to stop we are uh, continuing our discussions on production of speed sounds next meeting. Thank you very much for watching. I uh, let me finish my explanation today by saying assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.